Hey guys, so I had a, a reasonably good day today. I had, was able to get through all my sessions, which was pretty cool. I was happy about that. Kind of hit in the checklist and um, it's crazy because it does feel like a lot is happening in kind of uh, a short time, but there's obviously a part of me that's like, oh, well maybe I should try more and expand and blah, 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 and I get really excited and uh, there's been a lot of fear kind of holding back from the a little bit but I'm starting to see that honestly like that's just some self imposed kind of garbage so I uh, yeah I'm just kind of working through I decided to kind of streamline my process with some of the things because I was just jumping back and forth on a lot of different projects and I realized like for my writing, I need to like kind of do one thing, and for my reading, I kind of need to do one thing, and then, like I think for like music or like art, like I think I don't. I actually think I really enjoy doing a lot of different things, but it's just making sure that whatever those different things are, focusing it exclusively. So if I'm writing, only writing one thing, um, you know, I can write multiple things, um, but only one at a time, sort of. And so it's like I can do different things and so I'm starting to see like it's not good for me to like write in two projects because then I have a hard time sort of switching and keeping um, track of everything. So if like I'm editing, right, focus on just like editing and writing one thing and then that work needs to be put in another thing. So a lot of me has been thinking about sort of the skill of like drawing and maybe some digital art stuff and that's been... And that's been something I've been thinking a lot about, of kind of expanding that. And I don't know quite how to like justify any digital art I have. I have this, a couple books for drawing, and a part of me is thinking of kind of working through those, because I've never really been able to get off the ground and like figure out how to like be a good artist and draw well. And I'm thinking more and more like obviously like that's kind of the way to go, especially if I want to do like proper figure drawing and be able to like do everything that I want with the characters and kind of what I see for myself and such. So honestly, more and more, I'm starting to see that I might need to put something like that into my schedule. And it has been a lot going on. There's been, I think a lot of it is just in order to feel this sense of worthiness, I need like this, um, I need accomplishment. And I mean, when I write and I do these things, I feel a sense of accomplishment, but I guess maybe it's probably it's not as tangible as like maybe drawing some things and more right now, I think it's just like actually doing and putting things down and stuff and really getting that sense of worthiness or whatever, because I've been, I don't know, kind of weirded out, but I've definitely got to go check and get that ego weirded out. And a lot of it is just because I'm trying to... I'm, put, I'm, I'm leaving the financial concerns over to the other thing, but I'm more just thinking like, okay, like if I'm living my purpose and doing as I want, if I really see myself fully envisioned, how do I like see myself, right? And more and more I'm just starting to see like, okay, like I kind of have this vision of the kind of these stories and what I'm telling and what I'm saying and what I'm doing and more and more um, really just kind of putting effort into that and really trying to um, endorse and move the, the chains in that regard. Um, and just kind of get, you know, just that fullness and the idea of it all together. Obviously, I'm just getting through this week and like really just getting focused on the projects and the idea is just getting up and doing it. I've been napping a lot, so I'm trying not to do that. So trying to get to bed a little earlier, start reading, and get everything kind of done. I was listening to Laws of Human Nature by Robert Greene, and that was really informative. And, you know, I've got a lot of, like, ego stuff to take care of. And I don't know, sometimes it's weird when I'm just taking... I don't know, when I feel like I'm trying to get over myself and trying to figure out how to be better than myself and to do everything, it feels like there's this gigantic mountain to climb and all these things you have to kind of inhale whole and I know that's not the case so it's just like getting set up for the marathon okay and, and then really seeing okay what are the daily things that I can do that are really going to help me go and create that change and sort of like what is the permeability or the true nature of me and, and the thing 
is, I can do, I can be a lot of things, so I think it's just allowing myself to kind of push and do that, and not doing things that I feel like I have to do, or that seem like the rational right thing to do, but that really click in and, like, work for me. Because at the same time, I'm trying to figure out how to be very irrational, but at the same time, like, follow my heart more and my feelings, and it's this delicate balance that I'm, I'm working on trying to strike. you know I'll have to get a better idea of what it is of what value I want to do on YouTube because I I do want I don't know if I want to become a YouTuber but I think there is a part of me that kind of wants to have that segment or that chapter of my life there and you know share things in my art and kind of just build an audience so that I can ultimately um, quote unquote not necessarily like have schemes for profit but really just be able to have like an Because I think it's just building that ecosystem of community in which I can really give value. That's something that I really want, and I started to see more and more. Obviously, I'm doing the videos. Who knows if anyone will ever watch them? They'll probably just be buried in the archives, and maybe a few people will watch them. If anything, you know, when I should make it happen. And, you know, that kind of... Uh, So I'm not really caught up in it. I'm not caught up in it at all. I'm a little surprised by that in myself. Not necessarily that I follow the crowd or try anything, but I'm just so done with it. I think after this, this whole last little bit, kind of going through, I've, I've come to see that like my emotional capacity is what I need from people and for myself is a lot different than what I've been told it should be. So that's been very interesting. There's a lot, and you know, it's a lot to ask people to spend and give their time to me and their effort and energy. And I obviously want and have to give that for myself, so I'm just rambling now. Anyway, hopefully, you know, in the future, I'll actually have things that are worthy of more content and actually have something worthwhile to say and give and really put it out there. And there's a lot of people who are sharing things and making differences and... I don't know, I guess there's a part of me that really wants to be that, you know, I really want to start putting out some type of content. I have no idea what the content would be or about or how often I'd do it, probably once a week um, or twice a week once I can figure out how to edit. But really, um, but really, I, I have my... Uh, my one laptop there, but it's not super strong. And there's a lot to figure out there. <sighs> I don't know, there's so much to do. Right now I'm just, I guess, just focused on writing and doing it. It's not, it's the first week, not even that. It hasn't even been a full week since Christmas and since my girl left, so I still have a lot to do. I kind of just need to give it some time, make some progress and see how I feel about it, keep enjoying it. And I push, but I realize, like, sometimes it's just about maintaining the inertia and giving it time to speed up. And that's all there is to it. So I'm just going to get down and enjoy a good book and get some sleep. Uh, another good day in the books.